Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the newsletter disclaimer text on your Squarespace website. We're going to change the actual text itself and then use some custom CSS to update the style of it for that disclaimer text as well as any active links you have inside there. I also want to mention the codes we're using today will customize the Google reCAPTCHA if you have that enabled on your newsletter block as well. So as always, the codes are listed below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you exactly how they work so you'll understand what you want to change to make it look amazing on your own website. So here we are in my demo site. I'm using version 7.1, but these codes will work for older versions of Squarespace too. If you hop into edit mode, I just want to show you how to change the actual text really quickly. I have a newsletter block here. I'm just going to double click on that to open up the newsletter menu and pulling that to the center of our screen here. If we scroll down, this is the disclaimer text. You can customize this with your own text, make it bold or italic if you want to. And this right here is where I've added an active link. You'll see when I click in there, the link button is enabled. So you can put a link in there as well. The custom codes we're about to use can update that separately. So that's why I wanted to have it in there to show you. So I'll click out of here and let's hop on over to the design panel to customize this disclaimer text with a little bit of code. I'm gonna to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where we'll add the codes that are listed in the description below. Now I have some examples for us to work with here. The first one is just to change the font style. Let's say you have a different font installed on your Squarespace website and you wanna use that font family. This code will do the trick. I'm just gonna paste it right here in my custom CSS and you'll see it's now changed from the sans serif to a serif font, cool option there. We can also change all of the letters to capital letters and change the font size too. That's what this code is going to do. I'll paste that right here in my custom CSS. Okay, it didn't change right away, so I'm gonna add exclamation point important to make sure the browser pays attention, and there we go. Now it's a little bit bigger of a font than it was before. So if we scroll down, we can add a background color and remove the underline from that active link. This was a fun one here. So I'm gonna press Control C on my keyboard, just copying that code, and I'll paste it right here into our custom CSS. And now you'll see the underline is gone and the background is a bright yellow. So we can change up this color using any hex color code or web save color name. Let's make this link a solid black background color and make the font a solid white so it's super easy to see that that active link is different than the rest of the text. So before you work with these codes, I do wanna mention something that you might've noticed. The only difference between these first two codes and this last one is this letter A. A designates active link. That is the way that the browser understands the only part you wanna change is the link. So if we adjust this one more time by let's say changing the font size, let's say 20 PX and make it important, you'll notice that only the link changes in font size. The rest of it stays exactly the same. And that's because this letter A says change just the active link. So if you wanna change the entire block of text, remove that A and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. As always, the codes are listed below, and I just wanna mention one last time, the Google reCAPTCHA. If you have that enabled on your website, the disclaimer that goes with that can also be edited using these codes. So again, they're listed below, play around with the font family, text transform, font size, colors, all kinds of fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something awesome, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF, and you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.